Clare Creek is quickly becoming the city of Golden's most popular attraction. We came down here e-biking yesterday and there was so many people we never seen so many people. All that packing tubes in and out of the water every day prompting a bigger question. Ask the question, what is the impact of this on the creek uh, as we're seeing this really heavy influx of human use. Carmen Villarruel, an environmental chemist and other researchers at the Colorado School of Mines started looking for answers, sampling the water before the crowds and after. We can see what happens after there's been a lot of people recreating in it. With the help of their counterparts at Johns Hopkins, they found different chemicals from personal products like sunscreen and makeup to antidepressants and birth control, even cocaine, the byproduct of all those people in a small stretch of this mountain stream. These are type of things that we expect to see in pools and wastewater treatment plants where, you know, there's concentrated people in small amounts of water. Uh, but we're a little bit surprised to find them in a stream that's supposed to be pristine. Metals like lead, copper and zinc were also found, likely here from Colorado's historic mining towns up Canyon, stirred up by those big crowds as well. I'm not here enough like to be continually exposed enough to be really concerned and it's not surprising considering like where the water runs from. The good news, Via Ruel says when the numbers clear out, so does the water. I think it's important to know that we're impacting uh, the places that we are in intentionally and unintentionally. And um, I think it's just important to understand what that impact is.